it is finally time for me to talk about Diablo Immortal. And honestly, I'll tell you right now. I'm not even gonna talk about the pay to win aspect. I'm telling you right now why this game is fucking dog shit. As you can see, I'm level 14. That's how much I like again. This is not like an official review because official review you need to get to the end game stuff like that. This is someone who is not enjoying the game to the point that I don't even want to get through level 14. That's how bad this fucking game is. Okay. Now I've seen multiple reviews and they say the gameplay is good, blah blah blah, it's the pay to win. Bullshit. The game fucking sucks. Regardless, I love my name, no, no money honey. Regardless of the fucking pay to win in this game, the game is dog shit. Okay? At this point, I am surprised that I can not just do this and it goes to the uh, to the area that I need to do the quest on its own kills the monsters on its own and just that's it right there is no reason for me to even go there and kill monsters. first of all it's zoomed in like a motherfucker why is it zoomed in so much oh it's a phone game there's no like I've seen other phone games there's no need for it to be this zoomed in okay why does this game suck aside from looking good okay and responsiveness of the combat the game offers absolutely nothing you could play i think it's called dungeon hunters one or two just as responsive looks obviously more dated because it's like a 2006 game or some shit okay better fucking gameplay Overall, dog shit game, by the way. Like, uh, for its time, it was good. This is a game from 2022, and it offers less than a game from 2006. It is insane to me, okay? Now, why do I hate this game so much? What What do you want from an ARPG? Let's, 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 let's go with that first. What do you want from an ARPG? You want, you know, a lot of monsters, blow shit up, cool boss fights, and uh, customization in your uh, builds, and maybe something like social, right? Like a social environment, maybe housing, something like that, but that's like extra, okay? But mostly what you want from an ARPG is waves of monsters, blow shit up, and cool ways to do it. As well as uh, different uh, end game activities. What do you get in Diablo Immortal? Rifts. You get rifts. You get to level, I believe it's what, 35? And then you get to grind rifts till max level. I believe there's like raids or something, like eight men, whatever, and they're bugged. Like, you do too much damage or something i don't know like i heard some stuff like that but it's like from what i understand the mechanics of those fights is like is not fitting for 2022 now here's the other thing why did it take so long to make this game literally you could download a port from pc to mobile and play diablo 3 on mobile and it would be a better game with all the problems that would come with it, it would still be a better game. That's how bad this is. Now, um, the quests. Dog shit. Absolutely no soul. Absolutely nothing interesting in it. And it's like, you get like some familiar faces. This, the story, first of all, wouldn't even make sense from Diablo 2's perspective. Okay? what the story is also by the way this game is called diablo immortal there is no diablo because it's between two and three you are not even fighting diablo what like don't even call it diablo call it like sanctuary like why even call it diablo it doesn't even have the main fucking guy it's, what were you thinking okay then the abilities uh how do you get to the abilities man i don't remember jesus christ 
Skills. Okay, here here are my skills. Okay. Where's the customization? ARPG. Okay, look at Path of Exile. Look even at Lost Ark. You have way more skills, way more stuff in those skills. Look at this. Knockback shot. Modifiers. Something. Like, there's nothing in this game. It is so plain. At least Diablo 3 had runes to the abilities that changed them a bit. Even that was kind of dog shit. Okay? But there's no customization. You, Everyone is gonna run basically the same uh, 4 or 5 skills. Okay, 4. Because auto attack and 4 abilities. And the reason is because you actually don't even have a choice. You literally don't even have a choice in what you build. If you find, like, let's say, a legendary for spinning chakram, you're gonna run spinning chakram because you have the legendary. You have absolutely no choice in your builds. The builds are made for you. Takes away the whole RPG aspect of an ARPG. Like, you don't even roleplay this game because it kind of tells you what to do anyway. So it's like you can't even choose. Who would, like, it wouldn't make any sense if you run... You have a legendary for spinning chakram or a set bonus i don't even know what the items are you have a set bonus or a legendary for spinning chakram and you don't want to spin charm because it doesn't fit your roleplay bullshit no one would do that what so the game is telling you what you need to wear right the thing is and i honestly look i don't think the like because i'm gonna compare it to like diablo 2 right because this is like supposed to be between diablo 2 diablo 3 story-wise but also like it's, it's supposed to be a successor to the diablo franchise okay first of all i'm not i'm not talking about the pay to win stuff because it's a mobile game everyone knew it's going to be no like yes it's super pay to win it's the worst pay to win version of pay to win that you have ever encountered yes we get it that's fine okay it's not fine but it's like it is it is what it is however this is supposed to be a diablo game tell me Are you gonna be scared of anything here? Does anything here look threatening to you? No matter what happens right now, an army of zombies will come charging at you, and you'd be like, okay, fine, I'll attack them. When I, like, I don't know if people remember this, when, like, the first things, like, what is the most memorable thing from Diablo 1? For me personally, Diablo 1 was this. I walk to this monastery and I'm like, fuck man, I'm already creeped out. I go down, it's super dark because you have no light radius. You see like this much, this is like, this is your light radius around your character. You see nothing. Suddenly you see glowing eyes walking towards you, you don't see even like the, what it is. You see like a shadow with glowing eyes walk towards you until it appears in your light radius. You don't even see what it is. And then it's like a monster that attacks you. It's like one of those like rats or like the goblins with a nee nee nee. Right? And that shit is like holy fuck. If two of them showed up, you have to kite them because you, you're gonna lose a lot of HP. It was so dangerous to play that game. You go... You clear all of level 1, because you're like, man, I'm gonna kill everything, because I need to, like, XP, I need to get stronger. You kill everything level 1, and you're like, I don't know if I'm ready for level 2. Maybe I should start over and kill level 1 again. But you say, fuck it. You go down to level 2, and guess what? You open that room in the middle of the fucking floor, and then you hear it. Ah, oh, fresh meat. Guess what? You fucking close that door right away. You see the bodies there, you see the blood, you close that door. You do not even want to see what's running at you. Okay, and then out of curiosity, you you open the shit and suddenly like a butcher is slamming you and you like you can't even move because you're getting knocked knocked up, you know? Like you're getting like stun locked basically from his attacks. Like uh, 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 uh. That shit made me not want to open that door until I got to like level 5 on my first playthrough. I didn't even do King Leoric on my first playthrough. I literally just killed reg regular monsters because I was so scared to die in that game. I was so scared to play the game. Diablo 2, by the way. Another one. 
Whenever you play Diablo 2 for the first time, if you go, like, you kind of explore everything and you do, like, uh, you do, like, kill all the mobs or whatever, you get to Undarled about level 14. I opened the door and I saw Undal Undariel charging at me. I fucking ran out and I decided I am not strong enough for that boss. I didn't even try and fight. Level 14? Fuck it, bro. I don't even want to try. I'm gonna go out there and level some more, kill some more shit. I went back to Andariel level 18 or 19 and I fucking demolished her because I was like way over my level. Like level 18, 19 is like Arcan Sanctuary basically if you just play normally. Okay? That, that, that feeling is what you got from Diablo games. Act 3 took me forever to clear. I did not even want to go through Act 3 in Diablo because I was so fucking like scared of seeing Mephisto, okay? Obviously I was a kid back then, but still, you get that suspension moment, right? Diablo 2 was not a mass shooter game where you just blow shit up. You can later on with cow levels at like max level, yes, you get to do that. Right now, in Diablo 3 and Diablo Immortal, I can't even call them Diablo games. Forget that they are not spiritual successors, they are not even successors. They're just using the Diablo name as if like they bought the rights to the name. That's what Diablo is right now. Diablo 3, in my opinion, is not a Diablo game and Diablo Immortal is even far off from that. And again, in my opinion, Diablo 3, up until like half a year into the, its latest iteration, the Reaper of Souls with the Rift and stuff, it was good. Gameplay was good, whatever, but there was nothing to do at Endgame no new builds no anything interesting right um and drop frames i don't know. nothing to do in the game basically right there's like all you do is farm rifts it's like it's whatever it's not it's not great so for like maybe half a year of like getting all the gear trying multiple characters and stuff like that that was fine but after that it's like bro like we need content like can we get something diablo 2 in my opinion has more content than uh what's it called than diablo 3 which is maddening ubers is more content than all of diablo uh, diablo 3 uh greater rifts how fucked up is that that's messed up the ubers are more content bail runs are more con bail runs are essentially rift runs that's all it is. Bail runs are rift runs. You just like don't have the randomness of the rift. Just like whatever. It's like once you like once you run multiple rifts, you kind of know the map already. It doesn't even matter, right? Same with like uh, bail runs. You you get to know the map, and it's like you know exactly where the exit is and all that stuff, right? There's nothing to do in Diablo three aside from like re-level your guy every season and blow shit up. That's not a Diablo game in my opinion. Diablo had a certain feel to it. Diablo 2 had customization into builds. You could play multiple types of sorks and like right and like not depending on your uh, what's called on your sets. It depends on how you build your skills, right? Right now with Diablo 3, it depends on the sets. Like which set is the strongest? I'm going to go with that. Right? There's no like build specializ specialization for X, you know? Right now in Diablo 2 you have build spe specialization, right? It's like you can be a smite, uh, not smite, yeah, smite paladin to kill ubers, right? But smite paladin sucks in like everything aside from killing bosses, right? Then you have the fist of heaven paladin, then you have the other like the hammer teams, right? Stuff like that, but it's like you have different ways to do different content. Diablo 3, it's like, well, I'm using this build and it's like, worst case, I can change it to be a fast skill to like farm shit or uh, a bit slower on the movement, but it does more damage. That's that's your variability, whichever set is best for that season. And that's what you're going to use or whichever set you get, doesn't matter. Right. And then you you push you, and whatever. So it's like, in my opinion, again, the way it plays completely different Diablo 2 and i know some people say path of exile is the spiritual successor i can see why but honestly i think path of exile is a completely different game uh with that has some stuff that came from diablo 2 way back when but in its current iteration it has nothing to do with diablo 2 it's its own game is it it, it yeah sorry path of exile is its own game uh 
uh, completely irrelevant to Diablo 2 and saying that Path of Exile is um, inspired by Diablo 2 at this point I think would be offensive to Path of Exile because Path of Exile went way beyond what it is and by the way I'm not the Path of Exile shield I don't really like the game all right it's a good game I played a bit not for me okay anyways back to immortal the game there's nothing to do in the game like here I'll, I'll look I'm, oh, wow daily reward wow. I can literally auto attack these guys not use abilities I can probably kill bosses with like just doing this and like sometimes using my potion how like it's so bad it's like why even have abilities just let me do this click on this and just fucking auto just idle idle champion you know just such a bad game there's nothing in it that is diablo this is pretty much a lazy copy of diablo 3 okay let's do this this is diablo 3 if they could monetize the fuck out of it as they are doing on with this game if they could just put diablo 3 here and monetize the fuck out of it this is what this game is and actually that's exactly all it is there's nothing else to this game gameplay overall is dog shit there's nothing to do in this game the questing sucks you literally run from point a to point b you don't give a shit about anyone the only time you you remember someone's name is because he's written his name is probably written over your head right it's like also, I saw that there's King Leoric here. How does that make any sense? Why would King Leoric be here? Are we even in Tristram? Tristram. Is there a map? Let's see. World map. Okay. Darkwood. So this is... Darkwood means we are near... Um, what's it called? Darkwood is in Diablo 2, right? Now let's see, Frozen Tundra, okay, that's uh, Diablo 2, Bonds of Vain, we don't know, Library of Zoltan Cool, shouldn't even be in the game, but whatever, West March is Act 5, so we are nowhere near Tristram in this, in this map at all, we are in a completely different zone, West March is a completely different zone to where uh, Tristram was, Dark Wood is where you get the scroll, Dark Wood means... Uh, Oh, Stony Field should be somewhere like south of it, like somewhere here, where Wartham is. So the map doesn't even make sense. Wartham should be near Tristram. Uh, it's like a lake over Tristram, right? Like if you play Diablo 3 based on the map that they use there. So even the map doesn't make sense, right? And also, if, if there's no Tristram, how are you going? Like, why is Leoric here? Right, and from what I understand, the orc is a level 30 or something like that, boss, 25 or something. So he's around dark wood. So again, makes no sense. Right? Lore wise, the game makes no sense. Gameplay wise, the game makes like it's like it's dog shit. Right? It's like the basic of the basic. Right? Blizzard quality does not exist here. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. This these mechanics. This The way the combat works, I have seen way better free-to-play games on the on uh, Google Play or whatever, like on mobile. Way better that actually, like, I mean, look, look at Spade, look at Spade. It doesn't even look like I'm hitting him. At least in Diablo, uh, what's it called, in Diablo 3, you can see the bolts flying or something hitting the target. Here, like, you barely see anything flying towards the enemy. It's like super lazy game also the, all the abilities are the same from diablo 3 the only a new one i think is like escape or something it doesn't give me pale let's see uh knockback shot is a new one i guess uh strafe we know daring swing that's the jump thing i'm assuming knife trap okay we know sentry we know i mean knife trap is uh What's the name of that in Diablo 3? Knife Dance or something? Smokescreen we know, Impale we know, Escape uh, we know, 
um, spinning chakra. Uh, unless it's the last rune that spins around you, or just the throne chakra, we know what it is. Vengeance, we know. So it's like two new abilities for a whole game. Everything else is the exact same. Two abilities that are new. And the ones that are here are worse version of what they are in what's it called in uh, Diablo 3. Here's the other thing. The combat does not feel intuitive. This does not feel good. The abilities don't mesh up together. They feel clunky. It's like I do this, I stop that, I can't do this for a long time. The cooldown system is annoying. I honestly way prefer the hatred discipline system not the cooldown system i want to be able to use abilities non-stop until my hatred or discipline runs out and then i have to recharge it there is no reason for these cooldowns they're boring as fuck strafe makes absolutely no sense as an ability if it goes on a cooldown look at this i don't have enough energy but i move from here to here that's it i move from here to here the whole point of strafe is to fucking kite while doing damage to spin around enemies and i can't even do that imagine being a barbarian you can't even spin as much as you want you spin and you get stuck inside of like a wave of uh, minions like, why it's such a bad game design all the choices and dude where's that tweet oh my god let me find this tweet let me let me find this oh my god man this pissed me off uh wyatt chang i think that's chang um what was the tweet uh zizaran quit Where is it? Let me find it. On Zizzeron, man. Where is this? Wait. It's that. I want to find that one picture that this. Is this the one? What happened four months? Yes. It's a game myself and the team have poured years of bloody sweat into making bro i do not think you know what blood is like why chang should not have replied to this because he is embarrassing himself like as much as i appreciate devs communicating this is not it if you're communicating communicating at least be honest it's a game myself and the team have poured years of bloody sweat into making bullshit fucking copy paste game all the zones are copied from diablo 3 most of the models from bosses and from uh, what's it called and from the monsters are copy paste the bosses are simple two to four mechanics that are like extremely fucking easy this game is a joke it's not even a game i honestly believe diablo immortal is a fucking social experiment experiment from uh blizzard to see what they can get away with and how much of it i have absolutely nothing nice to say about diablo immortal the game is a fucking sham and if you're paying for this man i am envious of how much money you have to throw away you might as well take it and like and you know wipe your ass with it when you take a shit that's what you're doing with your money right now by giving blizzard money and let's be real we all know diablo 4 is for for Diablo 4 is probably not going to be a Diablo game, okay? You can already see Diablo 4 is not Diablo game based on what Diablo 1 and 2 were. The Diablo franchise, in my opinion, has died and it's been bought as a right for a name. That's what Diablo is right now. I highly recommend don't play a Diablo game until they actually make a Diablo game. They might as well call this game Sanctuary and pretend it's in the same world as Diablo rather than calling this a Diablo game. Diablo 4 also, by the way, does not have Diablo in it because the main villain is Lilith. Who, by the way, doesn't make sense that she's a villain, but fuck it. Let's, let's go with that. She, she's a villain. Sure. 
Diablo, in my opinion, especially after this. Diablo 3 put me on the ropes. Diablo Immortal. That's it. I think there's no more Diablo. Diablo franchise is dead. And anything that comes from here on out with the name Diablo is like someone bought the rights to use the name for their own comp for their own new games and that's it like it, they they bought the copyright that's what Diablo is right now it is a sham and it is a shame that this is what happened to such a beloved franchise such a beloved game title There are absolutely no Blizzard games right now that I am looking forward to play or want to play. World of Warcraft, garbage. 9.2.5 doesn't even fix the main issues of the game. Is it better than 9.2? Sure, is it better than 9.1? I mean, it's hard not to be, but it doesn't fix the main issues of the game. Diablo, dead. Worker Reforged, scam starcraft 2 no updates our uh, heroes of the storm could have been a good game abandoned right uh overwatch no balance and overwatch 2 is a copy paste what else do they even have modern warfare is not blizzard hearthstone it's a card game and also pay to win did i miss anything no all right blizzard you are dead to me like blizzard is just a name at this point anything that blizzard ever stood for is long dead and gone absolutely no faith in the company absolutely done with this with this bullshit thank you for watching have a good day